Hey everyone, this is Jimbo, and this is not Jimbo streaming Old World Football League broadcast this week. Uh, it turns out that my opponent for this week had uh, unfortunate circumstances in which he uh, had to leave and is out of town and was not able to schedule this week, so I was given a forfeit win. Uh, so there will no be, uh, sorry, there will not be any uh, blood bowl stream this week. But I figured uh, this is a good opportunity for me to put out a video, anyways, of the front office that we do here um, in the old world football league. That's kind of a uh, more behind the scenes thing that um, a lot of people who aren't in the old world football league don't know what it is. Uh, if you're familiar with blood bowl, uh, whenever you have a player who skills up you do that within the game and it lets you um, see what the dice roll is and then you select what uh, skill you're going to give your player and then you save it and whatnot. Um, but in the Old World Football League it's a little different because it's run out of a browser uh, with a program that our commissioner Thull does um, and the reason we do it uh, on there is because it allows us to do land play we're not reliant on cyanide servers uh, we can have different things added, like before Chaos Edition came out. We what the fuck? That shit never pops up. God damn it! <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, and uh, fuck, I lost my train of thought. Uh, we could before Chaos Edition came out, uh, we were able to use Chaos Dwarves, which is something that came out in Chaos Edition, but was not in uh, Legendary Edition. And we're also able to uh, use Slain, a circus uh, type race we got going on, and Chaos Pact, which are things that you can't play if you're just doing uh, straight out of the box. So, and this, uh, and we also in this league um, are able to do trades between races uh, within the same race, or if two different races share the same player. Um, uh, like, for instance, if you want to trade a goblin, I'm not sure why you would, um, but if one's an orc team and one's a goblin team, which there aren't any goblin teams this, uh, this, uh, this era, um, you could trade it between these two different ra teams, even though they're two different races, um, but they do share the same player with the same stats. Um, if it's a situation where you're trading uh, trolls across teams, or I'm sorry, Actually, ogres is a better, uh, better uh, example. If you're trading ogres from an ogre team to a human team, the ogre on the human team has loner, the one on the ogre team does not. Uh, in that case, uh, Thor will be able to add loner um, for any ogres going to a human team, or take it away for any ogres going from a human team to an orc team or to an ogre team, uh, in order to not allow you to get around uh, the standard skills that all these players have. Um, it's actually pretty neat. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give you a little uh, look into it. Uh, this is the home page. If you're interested in getting here, you can go to www.oldworldfootball.com and it will take you right here. Uh, this is our home page. gives you a little breakdown of little facts here in the little gray box. Um, you can uh, like us on Facebook. Uh, we do update that from time to time, not that... Uh, Frequent. Um, there's our blood bowl, our blood blotter, uh, which one of our coaches, Astro Spider, puts together. Very funny and very informative. Uh, it's very good reads. And if you want to check it out, it's right there on our homepage. You can just download the PDF file. Uh, we also have uh, trading cards that Astro puts together at the end of every era, which just gives a little picture of a player and then just his era wide stats for those three seasons. Um, you go, before I get in the front, uh, front office, I can also show you, you can find out what the schedule is for the league. So this is week 14, season 9, we've already had four games go. And you can view the scores like that, or you can view them all at once like that. And you can see who beat who. You can break it down further by going to the box score. Nope, that's a disconnect with games, so that's not uh, that good to look at. So we'll go uh, to the Servant Saruman uh, versus the Pink Elephants on Parade. And you can see uh, what their stats were for each player. Uh, we have our three awards. Uh, Mithril Javelin, which is more of a touchdown, passing, receiving kind of uh, award. 
uh, throughout the season. Uh, there's a golden uh, scimitar, which is a more of a bashy kills, casualties, KO, stuns thing. And then Iron Curtain, which is, uh, in the grand scheme of things, it's more of a, a defensive thing. So uh, less points allowed, interceptions, tackles, uh, that can be affected. And really, in the grand scheme for these awards, at the end it goes to a team. So whatever team was the most bashy, it's a bashiest gets the golden scimitar. Uh, whichever team was the most had the best lightning offense gets the uh, Milthril Javelin, and whatever team tend to be very stingy in giving up touchdowns will get the Iron Curtain. And it's a team award more than a player, but uh, this does on each of these matchups recognize which player contributed best to that for his team um, on the whole matchup. So it will, it will only show one player for both teams on it. So as you can see, uh, the Pink Elephant's got these two, uh, the Milthal Javelin, the Golden Scimitar, and uh, Mock from Sermons of Saruman uh, got the Iron Curtain. And then it shows down here, it just scrolls down, it shows you all the injuries that are not badly hurts. Badly hurts aren't that significant, but the ones that are worse than badly hurts are more significant. So you can find out who's going to be missing in the next match in case you play the Servants of Saruman. You can see that he's missing Lurts, one of his good blitzers, his troll, Big Yan. Uh, two black orcs who both suffered minus movement. So uh, he is not in good position for next week. Uh, and then... Uh, Tim's Minotaur uh, for the Pink Elephants is going to be out with minus armor. Uh, going on down the line. Um, and then you can go to different seasons. You can check out all nine seasons we've had and all the weeks or whatever. It doesn't differentiate when the postseason was, so you're going to have to play around with it. Uh, the weeks are 16 in a, in a regular season, so anything beyond 16 will be uh, your postseason matches. You can check out the standings here. It shows the division leaders. You got the different AFC uh, divisions. You got your WFC divisions. Uh, there's me right now sitting in second. Uh, green, uh, Damage Green Spades have locked in uh, the division. So, actually, no, he's locked in the division, but he's locked in at least a wild card. Uh, if he loses out, which is highly unlikely, and I win my next three, <laughs> win my remaining three matches. Uh, I can get in. There might be some other way. If I win my next two, cause my next match is against him. Ah, whatever, it's not important. And then to get better than him, uh, one of those two remaining matches, I think I might be able to win the division. But I'm not counting on that. I'm just expecting to win a wild card. But anyways, you can look at that. Um, you can look at the team. So you can look at what my team is, what awards my team has won. I had the division one last year. Uh, won the conference, um, most touchdowns allowed in one game, sleep with the switch award, most knockouts, most stuns, most stuns suffered in one game, and then you can check each player's um, roster and uh, schedule, and then any news like injuries they suffered, or players they hired, or players they fired, or players that died, uh, anything like that as it's processing right now. Uh, but that's not that important. We can just get past it since it's still moving a little bit. And then leaders and whatnot. But uh, you can check that out on your own. Um, let's get to the front office. So here it is. Uh, me all logged in. Uh, this is my Tears of Tarantino. And the other one, Run Forest Run, is actually my team from last era, which is uh, a Wood Elf team. Did all right. And so I'm able to look at that team pretty much the same way I looked at the other one. And if you uh, look back at previous um, previous uh, season standings in which this team would be in, you could look at this as well. Uh, but I'll go to managing my current team, and so I kind of see what's going on. And this is my view that I get. Um, this happens after every match. Um, it looks like since I was awarded a win, I rolled 60,000 in gold, and I had 10k added already, and I'm not sure, I think I did have Spiraling Expenses taken out already. Uh, it looks like I might gain a fan factor too, but that's for my gold debt right now, it's not great. So I'm going to look at uh, who all's on my roster right now, what their position is, their movement, strength, agility, armor, blah blah blah. 
uh, what their level's at, how much they're worth. Um, we don't have any history on there for them, but uh, I don't think we can get to it. Uh, since I won 60k, uh, I'm not going to haggle it. That's very good. I think 70k may be as high as it'll go. But, like I said, this is fine. So I'm going to end it like there. So I'll take the 60k. It is deposited into my account. And it looks like spiral expenses did go through because I only got 50k out of that. Um, at this point, I can add rerolls. I can subtract rerolls. Add cheerleaders. Add assistance. Um, you can only get one apothecary, and I think you might need to do that with though. I don't think you could add or subtract it with, with just out of this. I think it's something he needs to do. Um, so, uh, and part of the forfeit is I was able to give any player of my choosing a touchdown. I could do it with two touchdowns. And I chose to give both to my new cast warrior, Marcellus Wallace. One, because Marcellus Wallace is not a bitch. And two, because I prefer to have a leveled up cast warrior than someone going in uh, without any levels. So, um, you'll see that his level um, has been replaced by a link that says train. So, I'm able to go on there and click on it. And it says, oh, I rolled six and five. That's 11, and that means I get an agility on him if I want it, uh, which is actually interesting uh, because I had previously decided I was going to make Vince Vega my ball carrier uh, and gave him extra arm, and uh, he got lightning bolt to the face a couple weeks ago and is only two agility now. So this is a little bit of a think. Um, I think I might not go with agility for the cast warrior because I think I'm fine with uh, my ball handling for right now. Even with that extra arm to agility, I think Vega might be fine. Otherwise, I might just not give it to him at all. Um, but it displays all the different sections I can get it in. Um, so there's the a stat boost agility. Um, there's general um, skills, strength seals, mutations. Uh, obviously, since I didn't roll a double, and it's not standard for cast warriors, I don't have access to passing or agility um, with this roll. So, uh, I have the option of choosing, and I'm not going to do any of the mutations for this one. Um, hmm. I think I might be leaning towards block or I think block is the only one I'd lean toward on general for strength I think I might go either mighty blow or piling on and I know you might say why piling on now well piling on is a nice accelerated skill uh, I was kind of inspired by some post I saw on a Blood Bowl forum in which it showed how likely you, a player is to level up um, by giving him uh, block, or by giving him uh, claw, piling on, and mighty blow. And I think this is with having block already. Um, but piling on was actually the better of the three between um, piling on claw and mighty blow uh, because it lets you re-roll uh, knockdowns in order to try to get armor breaks and it's, you're more likely to get casualties which gives you more star player points which levels you up faster so uh, the real question is here do I go block or do I go piling on I have a lot of block on my team already so I'm not too worried about it um, and and if he dies, he's only got, he's only a level two then. So, and that's uh, my worry of dying, him dying is being on the ground um, from piling on that people could follow him. So I'm not too worried about it. Um, I think I'm going to go piling on. And it's actually a nice one to do uh, early because now this week I played Damic, uh, who was a Nurgle team, and that's going to be a little rough. But my next two games after this are against a Wood Elf team and a uh, Necromantic team. 
Oh, here's my news. It finally popped up. So you can see all my hires. Oh, I recently hired Hugo, Sergeant Hugo Stiglitz, uh, a new beastman that I got, uh, and Graveyard Rats. Uh, so these are my next three matches. Green Spades, Gotwood, Graveyard Rats. And so the and Graveyard Rats is actually Necro Team. It's, it's complicated. Uh, <laughs> so I play Elves, and then I play Necro. Is that the word I play them in? No, I play Necro, and then I play Elves. So I have an opportunity with these two teams that have more lower armor to actually get some more star player points with this guy. And so I think that might be beneficial for me to go piling on now and try to get that with him. So it's less conventional, but I think we go piling on. So I select the button for piling on, and I click train player, and voila, success, training complete. Reports are this player isn't spending extra time in the gym. Hopefully the extra work translates to the field. Yeah, I don't think I would give him more. If I had, if I rolled a 10 or, if I rolled a 10, I probably would not give him movement or armor either. Uh, especially this late in the game. I want guys, I want skills that can actually do something rather than set up skills to do something else. Um, uh, like guard might be one, for example. Um, or something else that escapes him. But anyways, um, so yep, now you can see he is level 2. He's got 6 uh, star player points. That's the number in the parentheses. Uh, I believe the next level is at 15, so I would have to get 9 star player points to level up, which is quite a bit. Um, that'd be 3 casualties. or No. That would be 5 casualties, because uh, casualties are only 2 star player points, touchdowns are 3. Uh, or he could get MVP, which actually someone did the MVP out of that, and I'm not sure who it was. Um, but I can find it out by going to the schedule um, for the previous week. And, whoops, see the box score. My MVP went to Butch, which, let's see what Butch's total is. Uh, wow, he's at uh, 26 then, and so he's only four star player points away from leveling up to level four, which is nice because he is my uh, plus strength guy, but he does have a niggling injury. So, oh, jump bump, uh, jump up is a good example of a uh, setup uh, skill because you could use it to uh, throw more blocks and get more hits, and I think it's a lot better. Uh, right now with my cast where I just did to give him piling on because it could help uh, help me out in the future by putting guys in the casualty boxes. Uh, just give another look. Um, something else you can do. This is how you hire rookies. You go to this button and you can throw them whatever name you want. Give them whatever numbers. 1 through 16 is available. So right now 4, 7, 8, and 10 are the only levels. Uh, are the only numbers that are available for me. Uh, you can select what the player type is, so Beastman, Cast Warrior, Minotaur. You can't add more than you're allowed, so you're only allowed one Minotaur and four Cast Warriors per cast team. So if I were to try to add them, it would say, you can't do this, jackass. Probably because, one, you can't afford it, and two, yep, you have too many in that position. So uh, there are checks in here to make sure you don't do anything you're not supposed to. Uh, in this, well, so, oh, well, <laughs> I was going to show you how free agency works, but that's right. Uh, we are out of free agency um, for the final three matches of the season. Uh, but normally it would have um, a little thing down here in this corner where it would say it would have three different minotaurs that uh, are randomly generated from our free agency pool, or randomly chosen from the free agency pool um, that you can choose from. Uh, there'd be three different cast warriors. There'd be three different uh, beastmen that would be here, and it's different for every other race. They can see what positions are available for theirs, um, but you can't see uh, which ones are available for different races. You'd have to ask Dull if he's around and feeling generous and <laughs> wants to dig up the information for you. Uh, and then any free agent beyond uh, the opening 
week of an era, or if you create a new team, your first round of free agents, uh, they add uh, 30k to their value. So you're hiring them at a little more of expense. So for instance, Gargath is at uh, 280, and that's what I hired him at because I got him right uh, when I started this team. But if you look at 10 again, which is my other free agent, which you can see with this little green F after his name, I actually ha hired him through free agency, and I had to bid even further beyond the 30k plus. I got him for 41k extra. Um, so his actual value is 210, but I hired him at 251. So I he's a little bit uh, dead weight in that regard, but. I think he's been very helpful to me uh, with his extra strength and tentacles that I, I think I gave him tentacles. I think he just had extra strength but guard and block. Maybe I gave him block too. I don't know. Anyways, um, so those are two options you could do. You can hire rookies. You can get free agents. Um, you can fire people by clicking these red X's. Um, and then uh, when you're done, which I am because, let's see how many I got. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I have 12, and I actually do have enough to hire another Beastman. Huh. Oh, let's see. Do I want to hire another Beastman? I think I might. I'm not sure what else I'm going to use my money on, and I do have enough to hire him. So, uh, actually... Hold on a second. Let me just uh, bring the video down for a second. We'll look something up uh, real quick. Uh, aha. Okay. So uh, this is what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to first put the video back up. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is it looks like I am going to hire another guy. And I'm going to make him Lieutenant Aldo Rain. <laughs> from Inglorious Bastards. So, uh, I just take this name, copy it, bring it over here, hire rookie, paste it right there, and make him a beastman. Give him, I don't want to give him four because that's in the Chaos Warrior area. I like to keep very organized right here. So, eight or ten. Either way, he's sort of around my <laughs> remaining uh, reservoir dogs. So I'll give him 8, and we'll throw him right there. Select Beastman, that's selected. I got the number set up, I got the name set up. Looks like everything's good, so we're going to hire a player. Boom! And rookie player added. And there you go, Lieutenant Eldo Rain. And uh, you click on these names, and there he is. Obviously he doesn't have any stats or anything, so there's nothing to look at. Uh, if I want to look at a different player who actually has stats, I'm going like, to go to Bud. And there's all the skills throughout the different three seasons of the era. Uh, here's his last four weeks um, stats. Uh, if you have a player who's been beyond just one era, you can click the different era buttons. And you can see what Tenigan did in the last era. And you can also see this little icon of that he was on the Project Mayhem Army. And I think that's pretty much it. Uh, well, let me show you. I'm done now with my players. I've added every one I want to do. I don't want to add any more rerolls. Can't afford it. Don't want to add cheerleaders or assistants. So uh, the next step is to finalize my team. And I did. And so this is the next step. Um, you can declare any petty cash you want to use in the game. Um, that's usually something you do as you're launching into a game on the servers. But this is something that's done in more the lead up to the game. Um, so I would declare any petty cash I wanted to use. I don't want to declare any petty cash. I could see who my next match is. It is against the green spades. And I can view the team card. It looks like he is going to have less team value going into this than I do. Uh, so my uh, petty cash declaration means something. Because if I were to add more, he would get more uh, money for inducements. Uh, and I can see if he lost any players from the last match. He played Thulls, Molten Agony. And, ooh, he had a Rotter killed, a Nurgle Warrior lost strength, and another Rotter uh, is going to miss next game. Let's see this Nurgle Warrior. I'm guessing he's going to be cut. Ooh, he was a five-level uh, Nurgle Warrior, so that sucks for him. 
and I can see what his roster looks like and I can just go down the line so here's his Beast of Nurgle I can go to the next player check out his next Nurgle Warrior and the next one this is the one that's going to be out you can tell by the little uh, red uh, plus on the upper side and keep going Erdos is a very good uh, guy he's probably equivalent to uh, my guy Mr. Pink as far as what his stats are and what he's capable of doing. Go further, you can see some players got serious concussions. Uh, this is Rotter who's going to be out for this game. And a couple level 1 Rotters. And a level 1 Nurgle Warrior. A level 1 Pestigore. And uh, that's it um, for his team. Can't click on any next more player. So. Uh, that's what he's got. Like I said, since I'm the higher uh, value team, I got 2300 uh, 2, and he's at, what, 1810. Um, it's usually expected that you, the higher player, would end petty cash first. And since I'm not, obviously not adding anymore, I would just do that right away. And so uh, I'm, I can't go any further in our... Um, our uh, fr uh, the front office process right now and leading up to a game um, he would have to declare his petty cash first and then uh, after that's done then it would allow you to hire star players and actually it's not even going to let me click on it um, until he finishes his phase um, as you click on it and it shows all the different star players you can hire uh, another good thing about how we operate uh, an old World football league is we have all the star players added um, in the uh, the rules or lore or however it works, um, and so there's different ones like uh, on my team that I've used a lot, uh, Max Spleen Ripper, which is a Nurgle warrior with a uh, a chainsaw, and that's something you can't use, you can't have access to uh, if you just have the game out of the box. That's not a star player that's in Cyanide game, uh, Cyanide servers. Um, so that's another thing that's really cool about uh, Old World Football League. And, yeah. And then uh, after that, you can choose your, you can hire um, star players in this phase. Um, and that's pretty much the only thing you would do in the browser for inducements. If you want to hire Wizards or Bloodweiser, Kega Bloodweiser, uh, or um, uh, Wandering Apothecary or anything like that, uh, that's something you still do in the game. Um, I'm not. I think you may have seen me do it. Um, a couple of few games I've actually had uh, and do some points to spend. Um, so yeah, that's uh, this is a little bit of a behind the scenes um, for those of you who asked um, how I hire my players and if you want to see me hire my players or give them skills and stuff like that. Um, this is uh, how you do it. Um, so, uh, yeah, and feel free to check out Old World Football League. Um, there is a waiting list to get in um, to the actual franchise league um, that this is and everything like that uh, that I showed you. But we also have a tournament league, which is the um, Old World Football Tournament League, um, and it's open to anyone. You can sign up on the... On the uh, on the forums right away and just get right into it. Um, you just have to make a, a fresh team that you use exclusively to play um, OFTL or Old World Football Tournament League games. Um, you can just go onto the forums we got, uh, which you click uh, that forum button, and it will send you here. And you can use the uh, the chat box here to chat up people up like, hey, what's up? Um, and then it pops up, and then you can talk to people and then say, hey, I'm interested in scheduling. Anyone want to play a match or something? And you can work out what team value you want to do and all that fun stuff. And we also have forums for it. And they talk about different uh, invitationals that are going on. Like we have an OFTL Invitational coming up for April, uh, which is open to, it looks like, all elf teams of all team value. Uh, and it starts on April 1st. So if you're interested in doing that, feel free to, like I said, uh, just come onto the forums, uh, register. Uh, you have to make a post, just saying, "Hey, this is me. I'm 
new here, blah, 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 um, because we do have bots and stuff that sign up, so um, you need approval before you can send private messages and things of that sort. Um, and then feel free to sign up um, for the tournament, and you can... Uh, uh, hold on a second, let me just sign in real quick with this and give you a little quick view of what the coach's page will look like. Uh, oh, never mind, I didn't have to. So, uh, yep, so you can see, I can see what my teams are or your teams are that you have. Um, it's like I have a lizard team called Jurassic Park Diners, um, and I can just get a look at what that team looks like, see my wins, ties, losses, all the values, records, blah, 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 that sort. Um, and you can find out what tournaments are active right now. So, for instance, the invitation for April is the only one that's open. Um, and there you can take your teams, pick it, and then sign up for the uh, sign up for the tournament. And it's very easy. Um, you have find very good quality coaches. It's a lot, lot better than uh, trying to find games on matchmaking where the the competition you find is just doo doo. It's uh, I think a lot more worth your time. You'll like I said, you'll face a lot better caliber of coaches uh, in old world football than you will in matchmaking on old world or anything like that. Um, so yeah, feel free to check it out. Um, old world football league. Oh, I'm sorry, oldworldfootball.com, and uh, go to the forums, register up, and uh, come uh, join up. Hope this. I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, watching this, and hope you. Uh, are encouraged to uh, join the football league and the uh, tournament league, uh, whichever you may find. All right, thanks.